<laughs> How did I burp before I swallowed the soda? Oh hey, so today I wanted to tell you a story, and by wanted to, I mean didn't want to. So I have been a fan of Lisa Loeb since Stay came out, and I've always bought all of her albums up until she started releasing like exclusively nursery rhyme albums. I love her, I love her voice, I love her quirkiness. I love her glasses. I loved her show on the Food Network. I loved number one single on E. Like, I am a Lisa Loeb fan. So I should also mention that I met her twice. So I went to a show of hers that she did at Rutgers University in New Jersey. Very creepily in the hallway, I saw her walk by and I was like, hi Lisa. Just like staring, didn't know any other words at that moment of the English language, didn't know any words in any other language. Creepiest child face you could imagine on me because I was so excited to see her. Being a fan, you become privy to some information. This sounds way creepier than it's going. I mean, I found out about a contest she was having, probably from her website, which is important information. So I... <laughs> So to enter the contest, you had to send in a banner of your design. So I'm like, ooh, it's a contest. I love Lisa Loeb. I'm gonna enter this contest. Don't know how to make banners. I don't know, I can't make up an excuse of why this happened, but I entered the contest. I right clicked the banner that she already had on her website, saved it to my computer, and then entered it as a contest entry. That's like, if McDonald's had a contest to design a new logo and you sent them the golden arches. It was like, if someone had a Mona Lisa recreation contest and you went to the museum, swiped the real one off the wall and sent that in. It was like having to do a book report on the fault in our stars and sending in the paperback. I don't know why, what I was thinking. I have made choices in my life so I sent that in. I'm like, whatever, I'm gonna go back to living my life now. Not that long after, I receive a phone call. So I look at the number. It's not a number that I recognize, or it may have said unknown. Don't remember, pick it up. Hello? Hi, Nicola. It's Lisa Loeb. Hi. God damn it, Lisa Loeb called me. Lisa Loeb called me on my phone, my phone. I did not know what to do. I don't think that was the reaction she was looking for. Hi, because all I kept thinking was, wow, I am a cheater, a liar, and I'm going to hell. So I'm on the phone with Lisa Loeb in my bedroom. I'm trying to tell my friend. She told me congratulations for winning her contest. Guys, I cheated and I won. This is not a good story. <laughs> this does not set a good example, sis. Why am I telling the story again? <laughs> I can't even look you in the eye. Okay, so I'm on the phone with Lisa Loeb, okay? One of my idols of all time. Me knowing inside that I cheated. I sent her own web banner as my design and I won her contest. <laughs> How could I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? So after we hung up, I was going through it. It's not like I could be like, oh, hey, Lisa, yeah, by the way, cheated. You should let someone else win. I already got the prize. I'm talking to her. They never found out that I cheated. If this video popped up in Lisa Loeb's Google alerts, then, Wow, that makes me feel really even worse about uploading this video. <laughs> Lisa, if by some slim chance you are watching this, I am so sorry, number one, for being so creepy the first time I met you, and number two, for winning your contest with your own website's design. <laughs> Don't do as I do, do as I say, or however that goes. I am so embarrassed. Like someone else's original design who never met her before, like they could have gotten a call from Lisa Loeb and they didn't because of my idiot, idiot, 
idiot. 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 Self. I'm an idiot. I mean, I know it's too late, but I hope you will accept my apology, Lisa. I don't know what else to say. Also, tidbit I learned recently, Alexis Michelle, the drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race, is Lisa Loeb's cousin. <laughs> what? Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I, honestly, I don't think like my heart and soul could even give you anything else after bearing that. I'm Nicola Fodi. You're watching Soundly Awake, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Pieces, and I'm so sorry. Please don't hate me. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, my bones are cracking. Oh, it's a curse. It's a curse. I got. I have a. Oh, there's a curse on me now. I'm sorry, Lisa. <laughs>